Dear readers, welcome to our channel. Is it true? Today, as scheduled, Huawei has officially launched Harmony OS Ecological Thousand Sales Ceremony, unveiling the Pure Harmony OS next. It's time to lift the curtain on this technological spectacle. Are you ready? What makes this operating system so remarkable? Asterisk, do you know why Microsoft once fell into a predicament? Will the new system truly revolutionize your daily use? Let's unravel this mystery. What are the differences between Harmony OS and Android? How close is it to our daily lives? Is it worth celebrating? Don't miss our follow-up reports. Let's explore together whether the new system will leave a vibrant mark on your life. Today marks a historic moment in mobile technology. On January 18, 2023, Huawei held the Harmony OS Ecological Thousand Sales Ceremony, announcing the official launch of Harmony OS Ecological and Pure Harmony OS Next. This news exploded in the tech community, capturing attention and sparking discussions. Point 1. Pure Harmony OS Huawei ascends to new heights of autonomous operating systems. Harmony OS has been a hot topic in the tech world to this day. However, the announcement of Pure Harmony OS Next at this event presents a new paradigm for operating systems. Since the launch of Harmony OS in 2019, questions about whether Harmony OS is based on the Android system have lingered among tech enthusiasts. In August last year, at the HDC Developer Conference, Huawei announced the Harmony OS Next Preview version, causing a sensation. This version eliminated traditional AOSP code, supporting only Harmony OS kernel and Harmony OS system applications, using HAP format installation packages exclusively. By removing compatibility with Android applications, it provided users with a fresh experience, a significant move to distinguish Harmony OS from Android, earning it a reputation comparable to iOS.2. Lessons from History Huawei's Differentiation Strategy from Microsoft In this process, Huawei has clearly learned from historical lessons. Microsoft's one-size-fits-all approach led to the collapse of the Windows Phone system, causing pain for both users and developers. In 2009, Microsoft released Windows Mobile 6.5 with touch support but faced criticism for not supporting capacitive screens. In 2010, Windows Phone 7.0, which supported capacitive screens, did not upgrade old versions, and the lack of proper maintenance led to complaints from users and developers. In 2012, Windows Phone 8. With a changed kernel, prevented users from upgrading, and developers had to manually adapt, causing betrayal once again. These lessons left Microsoft with the impression of few apps, ugly UI, not user-friendly. Huawei has clearly avoided this pitfall. By first ensuring compatibility with AOSP plus self-developed technology plus HMS cloud services, shaping the initial Harmony OS system, it allowed users and developers a smooth transition, avoiding the predicament Microsoft faced in the past. This differentiation strategy has made Huawei more confident in the field of operating systems. Point 3. Harmony OS Native Applications, the ecosystem gradually matures. With the pure Harmony OS system, Huawei announced the initiation of Harmony OS Native Application Development. Major applications such as JD.com, Alipay, Bilibili, Weibo, Mihoyo, and Xia Hongshu have officially announced their participation in the adaptation process. This implies that users will enjoy a more quality experience of native applications in the Huawei App Gallery. To facilitate users in understanding the current development situation, Huawei's App Store has launched the Harmony Pioneer column showcasing various manufacturers' apps that have joined Harmony OS native application development. 
This move indicates that Huawei is taking solid steps to build a complete ecosystem. Point four. Here in 9000S, soaring performance, users in frenzy. As Harmony OS's powerful assistant, Kirin has, relying on its own strength, developed the Kirin 9000S, a processor with performance comparable to Kirin 9000. This processor was first deployed in the Mate 60 series, and even before its official release, it caused a frenzy among Chinese consumers, with the model still requiring keen competition to purchase. As the number of users surged dramatically, Huawei promptly announced the initiation of Harmony OS native application development, providing users with a richer selection of applications. Point 5. Harmony OS Next, Developer Preview Beta Launched To better drive the development of Harmony OS, Huawei announced the recruitment of developers for the Harmony OS Next Developer Preview Beta, supporting Mate 60, Mate 60 Pro, and Mate X5. This initiative allows developers to experience the new system earlier and lays a more solid foundation for the official launch of Harmony OS Next. Huawei's executive, Yu Chengdong, has stated that 2024 will be a crucial year for native Harmony OS. And whether Harmony OS will become the industry's new darling is a highly anticipated focus. Point six. Future outlook, can Harmony OS stand out? The official launch of Harmony OS signifies that Huawei has taken another step in the field of mobile operating systems. However, faced with fierce market competition, whether Harmony OS can become a leader in the industry in 2024 remains to be seen. User and developer feedback will be a critical factor in determining the success of Harmony OS. At this transformative moment, Huawei has presented us with a technological feast. Let's wait and see, witness the future of Harmony OS. Finally, let me summarize for you, hoping you gain something, insights and reflections. The release of Huawei's Harmony OS this time is not just a technological feast, but also a reflection on the past and a challenge for the future. From this, we see that technology companies, in the face of competition and change, need continuous innovation and the courage to take risks. Through the release of Pure Harmony OS, Huawei demonstrates its determination and strength in independent research and development. This is not just a pursuit of technology, but also a commitment to user experience. See from Microsoft's lessons that a one-size-fits-all strategy can lead to a complete collapse. Huawei's compatibility transition strategy tells us that while pursuing innovation, caring for users is essential. Growing together with users and advancing hand-in-hand -hand with developers can place a company in an invincible position amidst the waves of technology. As users, perhaps we should be more actively involved in the road of technological development, objectively assessing the strengths and weaknesses of new technologies, and making wiser choices for our digital lives. The arrival of Harmony OS prompts us to reflect, in technological innovation, should we persist in independence, or are we willing to move forward with innovators? The Harmony OS feast is not over yet, what are your thoughts on this release? Will the new system be your first choice? Looking forward to hearing your voices. In the next technological journey, we will bring more interesting topics. Stay tuned. That's it for today's video. Look forward to the next exciting content. Goodbye for now.